Hello there and welcome to the United States Grand Prix. We had a pretty good qualifying with both our drivers making it into Q3. As you can see, Piastri in 9th, Duhan in 10th. So, uh, all in all pretty good. Unless if you look at Duhan being half a second off his uh, teammate, which gives me a little bit of yikes. But uh, I assume he's been held up because he was way closer during the Q2, as you can see. Uh, very close, so that's an interesting look. Also, as you can see, three drivers in front of us do have grid penalties, and if they have multiple, we are going to take advantage. So, uh, Piastri is probably going to be up two places, uh, Duhan is probably also going to be up at least one. So, let's see here where we actually end up starting the uh, American Grand Prix. Clear skies, no rain expected. Starting 7th and 8th, so that is pretty good, all things considered. Um... Tree stomp is going to be the, you know, expected strategy here. So, we're going to do this. We're not going to push the tires really at all. Uh, we could go hard, medium, soft, for instance, but that would require, you know, pushing these a bit too far. As you can see, it would put us into failing territory. So, we're going to do this, and then we can push the mediums on the final stint. See if we can snatch maybe a faster slap. Gonna. Do a bit different here for Duhan, and we're going to push to push a little bit through the first two stints, and we'll see if we can uh, can make something work there. But we'll have to be uh, have to be a bit careful with the tires during the first couple of laps. So uh, do the same for Duhan. Again, he'll be challenging Piastri, which isn't the best, but uh, it should be all right. We're going for the again the two stopper for both our here drivers. Here we go. It's the United States Grand Prix. Lights out, and away we go! Decent side for Burdard drivers, they held on to their spots. So you see how this goes towards the end then. It's going to be the interesting part. Oh, signs ran wide or something I think. Claire's already creating a uh, gap for himself, so... Nothing really out of the ordinary so far. Can Piastri get someone here on the, uh, on the straight? Doesn't really look like it, so... Uh, we're gonna allow to harvest. Uh, gonna deploy ERS here for our other driver. Allow him to, you know, latch onto the DRS train. Deploy a little bit here for Piastri too, so he doesn't get left behind. That should be good. Let's harvest, let's harvest, and we're gonna burn some fuel just to make sure that we stay within the uh, DRS train here. So, let's see, these aren't always reliable, as you can see. You can, If you do that, you'll get updated numbers. I think this is okay. We'll allow the uh, just the race to progress here a little bit, and we'll see how things look in a little while. Oh, what happened there? Piastri suddenly got left behind. That's a bit of a yikers. Sounds like a spin. What a Can spin! A Did now? he end up blocking us now at the same time? I would guess yes. I uh. Like so we got detached from the DRS train because Botta spun. And as you can see, we're already five seconds behind. So I don't think we'll be able to reattach ourselves. Uh, we'll just have to live with this. Now, they're running soft tires, so they're definitely pushing. Pushing maybe a potential three stopper at this rate. So we'll have to see how uh, how things progress from here on out. We also have Paris behind us in the DRS train. Yeah. Oh, he actually overtook Piastri. And do one. Then we have the first set of uh, pit stops. And I think they're going to lose time getting through the uh, getting through the traffic here. So we're going to go attack and we're going to allow them to burn what life is left in these mediums. Both of our drivers. Looks like there's been a lockup.
You might be burning them a bit too quick though. <laughs> Put it back down to aggressive. Ah, okay, we are we are not burning Duhan's tiles too quickly. We should actually burn them for one more lap. Is that a lockup? There we go, now we can pet Duan on the next one. We want him to go on another set of mediums. Piastri, uh, we'll pet him on this next set. Put him on the hards. When we're on standard. Go in, go in. We don't, you know, burn them too hard. Duan is out in 8th. He has some clean air. So not the worst uh, scenario for him. Put the tires back to standard. Let us burn some fuel. As you can see, Piastri is currently in a position where his tires uh, are a threat. Came out ahead of uh, Duhan, just barely. This is barely where we expect to be when, you know, both Mercedes, uh, Red Bulls, the Ferraris, all are doing okay. And we expect 7-8, at least this season. Be more challenging next season. Let's see, they are on mediums, so... They might be finishing on hards, which could potentially put us into at least snatching the fastest lap. And making that viable. So we'll have to see how uh, how things work out for us in the end. Duan is losing his tires a bit more, a bit faster than expected. We'll also have to keep an eye on that. We're actually catching up to Russell, which is surprising. Let's see, we've entered his pit window. Let's go aggressive. Let's push the fuel. Deploy some ERS. And yeah, that should allow him to get past Piastri. Hopefully, we can actually have Piastri. It <laughs> doesn't look like it. Hang on to this was the goal, but it seemed like we pushed a bit too hard. And uh, we'll have to see here how it actually pans out now, because Piastri is already two and a half seconds behind Duhan. See here, we're going to go balance. We should pit here for the hards. That is true. And see here how we, where we actually end up after this pit stop. Should be out in eight. Is basically where we expect to be. Now, if we manage now to latch onto Russell and stay latched onto Russell, things are going to actually be very, very beneficial to us. So let's deploy some ERS here. We're going to go back to neutral here. And we're just going to try to have Duhan, you know, stay attached to Russell. Because that way we can take advantage of his faster speed, which I thought, but apparently we overtook him. Which is surprising, <laughs> all things considered. Uh, but yeah. I'll have to see how, how this goes towards the end here. Getting close to our pit window too. So we could probably go aggressive here for until we pit. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. The asterisk is actually finding Paris of all things. But Paris and is definitely fighting back. Just gained by Williams. Uh, we should have pitted the lap before this one, actually. It's just me being silly. Now, where are we going to come out? Probably around Duhan, a little bit behind him. Yeah. Now, we can actually take Russell with Piastri too, I think. Because Piastri has better tires right now. If we deploy to catch up. And also allow the deployment to stay. Didn't really work. Do uh, yes, uh, Russell overtook Duhan. It's a race position yeah. Game for now, for we're actually quite happy with this. Can push oh, during the last few laps here to get both our drivers in front. Let's just push Duhan right now. See if we can get a front of Russell with him. There we go. And then we'll push instantly. Push Piastri too. 
Let's see if we can get both of our drivers ahead of the Mercedes. And there's an overtake from Williams. We could. Okay, let's go neutral on both of you guys. We'll allow you to push your fuel a little bit more. Let's go balanced. Balanced. And uh, now it's basically just maintaining that DRS train. So, you know. Russell won't be able to overtake us, and honestly, we'll be happy with 6th and 7th in this race. We'll also, as I said, try and push for fastest lap during, uh, well, the final lap here, basically. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Oh, we lost the position there during, uh... During, uh, the, the back marker. Overtake. Okay, so Duan is probably going to get 8th here because of the back marker loss of time there, it seemed like. Uh, Piastri should be ready here to try and, you know, get fastest lap. We'll just allow Duhan to do what he wants there in these last couple of uh, laps, push his fuel. Piastri can push... Should have a little bit more ERS, really. But let's push. Let's go aggressive. Let's go ahead and deploy. And let's see here how... If we can snatch that fast slap. Which will be our goal. Piastri 6, Duan 8. Uh, still pretty good results the for the team, honestly. Especially considering we have the... The big three, if you will, ahead of us. I'd say it's okay. We scored 12, 12 points, um, which is more than really our competitors by a long shot. And, uh, well, Leclerc is definitely, you know, making sure that he is winning that uh, championship. We're now 10, 11 points behind Alpine, 20 points behind Alfa Romeo. And if we continue like this during the last three races, we'll be overtaking both of these by with a clear margin so it's looking good thank you for watching and i hope that you've enjoyed bye bye